Passports, please. Spain, Switzerland, Russia, Bora Bora. Ah, oh, a pleasure to have you back with us, Mr. and Mrs. Newton the Sky. I hope your year-long ski holiday with the King of Sweden was the cat's meow. <laughs> Passport, please. Ah, oh, lovely to have you back from Avenue C, Main Street, and. Hey, this is a bus pass. You've only been across town. Yeah, but I've been way across town. Only the ultra-rich and famous are allowed in Miss Ida Lux's European star. We don't think you fit in with the rich and famous woodpecker. <laughs> My boss has a ribbon. <laughs> well, well, if it isn't Woodpecker's best friend, come to Papa. My, don't you look beatifically today. Whatever. And how is the little Fifu doing? <laughs> Fifu, don't bite the doorman. He could have rabies. <laughs> Hey, Woodpecker! Push the urn. <laughs> Fifu, darling, what are you doing? Owie! Oh, my Luxembourgian urn! <laughs> you clumsy fool! This will come out of your salary. Now get back to work. Don't you just love it when the underdog wins? Rest and relaxation, here I come. Ah, just what I need, a relaxing massage. Uh -oh. Now where is that walking feather bed? <laughs> Did you see a woodpecker about this high and this wise? A woodpecker? Uh, no, I didn't see. Uh, but, oh, yeah, I know a stiff neck when I am seeing one. Uh, you bet. <laughs> yeah, just as I thought. You're all tied in knots. Um, yeah, but, except... Just close your eyes. First, a scalp massage. <laughs> now, just relax. I can see every single muscle group working together like a fishing crew in a fjord. Yeah, thanks. You'll be coming back again soon. <laughs> Mommy will be right back. For this. You buffoon! What have you been doing all day? Taking balance lessons from Humpty Dumpty? <sighs> Mudliness is next to cleanliness, I always say. Got hmm? you, woodpecker! <laughs> Got mud? I gotta find a disguise to convince that doorman that I'm not here. Excuse me, have you seen a woodpecker in these vicinities? Why, no. I have always relied on the kindness of trainers. That disguise 
won't work. Forget the disguises. This'll work. Got you now. <laughs> what better? Papaya facial massage. La 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 Oops. Uh-uh-uh. Oh. I'm not done with you yet. Uh-oh. <laughs> not bad, but it needs a bake job. Excuse me, but have you seen my so-called doorman? Oh, you poor dear. Good help is so hard to find these days, isn't it? You can say that again. He completely destroyed my expensive urn collection. Not to fret, Miss Lux. I just returned from Bally Valley, and I would love to present this splendid little gift to you as a token of my appreciation for keeping the riffraff out of our spa. Mr. Woodpecker, you have wonderful taste. You must come with us next month to St. Hope, and then on to Monte Carlo. The figs and mud there are beyond compare. Oh, Woody, be a dear and get Fifu. Then hurry and join us in the limo. Woo Monte Carlo, limos. You heard what she said. I'm in the money now. <laughs> Hand over the cow juice, milkmaid. Yeah. <laughs> it's Mr. Alias. You get him, Mr. Alias. <laughs> Mr. Alias, man of adventure, triumphs again. Who among you is ready to join me in my life of adventure? Me, me, me. I've made all the arrangements. I've, I've notified, notified the authorities, the authorities pulled, pulled the strings, strings and greased the palms, palms all, all to create, create an, adventure an adventure for me! you! Just send $100 for your very own Adventure in a Box! But I already did! Well, if, if you, you already, already did, did then, then watch your mailbox, mailbox because Adventure awaits! <laughs> from Mr. Alias, too large for home delivery. Please pick up at the Oversight Delivery Office. Oh, boy! Let the adventure begin! Yes, sir Baba Link! My adventure in a box! <laughs> nice haircut. Ahem. Regulation 47K, subsection 8, clearly states... No customers on the counter! <laughs> Lady, I just want my package. <sighs> the rules are the rules, Woodpecker. I don't make them, I just carry them out. There are rules to be followed! <laughs> Wasting stamps! That's another rule you've broken! <laughs> Say, aren't you employee of the month? Oh, aren't you sweet? Let's see if we can get that package for you. Claim slip? I, uh, have... Ah, uh, phooey. I seem to have misplaced it. Company rules are very specific about missing claim slips. Oh, my. Rule 84, paragraph G, states that customers without claim slips must take a number and wait in line until an official of the company, that would be me, calls his number and verifies his identity. And then there's rule 48K. No touching the Take a number and wait like everybody else. Oh, boy. Number one. Number two. Anyone? Number three. Right here. Number three. Now can I get my box? Yes. See how 
well everything works when we follow the rules. Now, you may wait in the package line. must be stacked at all times. Direct violation of code 525Z. Trespassing behind my counter! Later. <laughs> no scofflaw is going to break procedure on my watch. Oh, yeah? Watch me. Woodpecker? Wow! I can't wait to begin my adventure. Come out! Or I'll have so much junk mail delivered to your house it'll look like a paper recycling plant! A Navy officer's uniform. Oh, Woodpecker! I'm coming! But first, I know just what Mr. Alias would do in this situation. Oh, woodpecker! <laughs> Come on out! I won't hurt you! Hmm? Oh, Delivery Master General! What are you doing here? <laughs> A spot inspection? Regulation 39B clearly states employees are to follow orders from their superiors at all times. Yes, sir, Delivery Master General. Now get behind that red line until I tell you to move. On your mark, get set, pack that box, yes. sort that mail, count those stamps, stack that tape, answer that phone, file those invoices. Uh, I'll be there. <laughs> Awesome red meteorite. It's the third time I've seen it this month. I'll name you Winnie Mite. <laughs> Position Azimuth 30.1 at 12 degrees in Scorpio. Oh, I wish I could be an astronaut so I could see the stars up close. <gasps> Return to the Torsten Space Launch Center. Wow, this could be my ticket to ride. Look at that. No, you're wrong. Nuclear fission. Oh, a Phillips head. Yes! Excuse me, I'm Winnie Woodpecker. Is this yours? Ah! My media mounted a satellite! Hmm. This is what protects Earth. This is bad! Wow! Is that a giant blue ice meteor hurtling towards Earth, Professor? Where? That doesn't... We're doomed! Ah! Earth is toast! I need a space crew! Perhaps I could... Oh! It couldn't hurt to just try this on. Ah, my crew person! But I just called. How did you get here so fast? Fax, email... Let's go! But, Professor, I'm I'll not... finish this toast. We've got to stop that meteor! Whoa! Wait! You! You're an amateur! 
creature. Mm -hmm. I'm breaking out in hives. Oh, this itches. Oh, this is not good. Bad, bad, bad thing. Need lotion. Ointment would be good. Uh... That'll do it, Professor. Now, there's three reasons why I can help. I'm a fast learner. I don't use up much oxygen. And I'm all you got, mister. So let's get to it. Uh, release me now. Yes, sir. No, no, I'm a... Oh! Oh! Professor, there's zero gravity! Uh, must get the satellite out there fast! Winnie, energize my jetpack! Oh, this is my big opportunity to make one giant leap for all woodpeckers! Oh. Oh! <laughs> yes, who's there? Those kids today? Hurry! It's not... Okay, okay, maybe it's... Three! Ah! <laughs> the precious! Ah! Magnetize the hull! It'll pull me back to the ship! Like that, Professor? <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> Just a second, Professor. Minor snafu. Please stop that! Have a chance! Oh. Oh. We must get this satellite back into orbit. Listen carefully! I'm all ears, Professor. Well, I mean, not literally. Of course, I have hands and feet, and some say a cute beak. Quiet! Now activate the robot arm! Activating the robot arm! Easy, easy. Easy, easy. <laughs> sure looks easy. <laughs> 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 what did I do to deserve this? <laughs> Please, be gentle. <laughs> <laughs> Working in space is harder than I ever imagined, Professor. Oh, my goodness! What? I can't see. Help me with my helmet. It's the giant blue ice meteor! If it is, we need to stop it! Track the beam? No. Death ray? No. Get my helmet off! I've got everything under control, Professor. <laughs> Maybe not everything, everything. I wanted to be remembered as the one who saved the Earth. Now I'm the one who destroyed it with... with a giant ice chicken! <laughs> oh, you won't be remembered for that, Professor. It's a giant ice swan. Oh. We need something big, something powerful to destroy that star fowl. Winnie might. <laughs> Position. Azimuth. 30.1 at 12 degrees in Scorpio. That's it! What? Leaving? Where are you going? Like I always say, Professor, when in doubt, improvise! Okay, Professor, I've packed the dynamite onto the medium. Dynamite? What are you thinking? Just this! <laughs> A giant ice rudder! <laughs> Won't help, Winnie. It's still on course. Only now for the other side of Earth. Yep, Professor. And right into the path of my beautiful red Winnie Mite. Professor Quark, could you tell our viewers how you managed to save Earth? Oh, well, I, uh, she, no, what, what did she say? What Professor Quark means is that together we fired these lasers at the ice meteor and... <laughs> What are you doing? The lasers! You like to shut that thing off! This just in. I'm getting word the National Space Division has reported some unauthorized laser activity. It has knocked a red meteor onto a collision course with Earth. And this one's in the shape of a giant woodpecker. Come on, Professor. We've got work to do. What? Oh, hello? No! Space woodpeckers! Dangerous! It's... I'm breaking out in hives again! I'm a sure!